course, in this video, let us learn how to use a graphing calculator to solve such problems of intersections by using y equals, which would be helpful, especially helpful, for equations that you could easily change into the form of y is equal to something. Then in the next video, let us use a graphing calculator to find the intersection of equations that could be easily changed into the form of ax plus by is equal to c. Now you could always check by plugging the intersections into each equation, but this information for these two videos is nice to know for other ways to check and faster ways to solve such problems of intersections. Both of those reasons for when you can use a calculator and the latter reason for when you don't need to show your work. Suppose that I found all intersections of these two equations and I found the intersections, all those intersections, and I want to verify that those indeed are the intersections. How do I do that? Well, one way is to go to y equals and enter in the equations. However, the problem is that we need them in the form of y is equal to something. And these two equations, they're not in that form. However, we have already put them in the form of y equals here and here. So for y1, let's enter in 2x plus 3. And for y2, let's enter in negative x squared minus 4x minus 5. Now let's press second calc. Let's go down to intersect, and now the calculator graphs these two functions. Now there are two intersections, but we can't really see them well in this window, so let's change this window. And now again, let's go to second calc and press intersect. Now, which is the first intersection that we want to find? Well, let's, let's at first find this intersection here. So let's go close to that intersection on the first function. And let's go close to that intersection on the second function. And then let's press enter again for guess. And it's found that the intersection, that intersection is at negative 4, comma, negative 5, which is what we found here. Now for the upper intersection, Press second calc, go down to intersect, and now let's go closer to the next intersection we want to find. Press enter when we get close enough to it, and then press enter again when we're close enough to it for the second function. Press again for guess, and it's found that the next intersection is at negative 2, comma, negative 1, which is what we found here. So we use our graphing calculator to check to verify that our work was indeed correct. These are indeed the intersections of these two functions. Here's a link to the playlist in which this video is a part of. It includes other similar videos about how to check your work using a graphing calculator, such as how to check your work for the zero-slope function or how to check your work for system equations using matrices.